Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? I feel so happy and I'm painting yellow, which makes me happy and cheerful. Boys and girls, I hope that you are being having a great time at home and I hope everybody's been safe and healthy. Boys and girls, do you saw outside is sunny and it's gorgeous, beautiful spring day. Boys and girls, today we are going to do one of my favorite things to do and teach my class, which is a simple machine. Last time we did a catapult, which is a simple machine, and today we are going to make a winch. And what it is, is a simple machine that help us to bring things from a lower place or a deep place all the way up. So if you ever seen a well, a water well, you will see people bring a bucket all the way down and then pull it up again and bring water. And that's where we're going to make. So for this activity, you're going to need paint and you're going to need a uh, paper roll. So I have this roll from an old uh, gift wrap. I always give them. And then these ones are just paper uh, toilet paper rolls. So what you're going to do, I like to paint them. You can paint them, you can put stickers, you can use markers, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just finishing to paint this one because I wanted to make mine went nice and colorful. And we are going to have a few challenges with this. This is a simple machine, but we're going to add a little bit of literacy and a little bit of math at the end. I'm going to show you. After you have your paper roll painted, you're going to mark. And what you're going to do, you're going to take your roll, because this is going to be in the middle, and you're going to mark. So can you see this, boys and girls? That is the distance. Okay? With your marker. I'm going to move this a little bit. I don't need it right now. This is later. So with your marker, I'm going to move down <laughs> You're going to mark around. Sorry, I know my, my light dims a bit, but I'm going to try to. Don't put things in my face. There you go. So I just mark where I'm going to do. So I have two marks here. And then you're going to cut. For this part, you may need a little help. So what are you going to use? I'm going to use a special sacto knife. So I'm not going to use to cut because I don't like to cut with a sacto knife. I'm going to put it away in a safe place. But then I use my scissor. So I suggest if you can ask some of your parents to help you with this part. And then you're just going to count on following your line that you just did. Can you see there, boys and girls? Just cut as close and as far as you can. Because what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one of the rolls inside of this part. So I cut my first one, and I cut my second one. So meantime, maybe mom or dad or grandma is cutting this for you. You can be painting the other two. And you're only gonna mark two tubes, and I'm gonna show you why. And I'm going to ask my daughter to actually put my hot glue gun on because we're going to need that soon. After you have your holes here, so you can see, you're going to paint your base. And what I did, I paint like water. And it's just a cardboard that I save from something else. And you're going to have this ready. So it's already dry. And this one needs to dry a little bit more, so I'm going to wait for a bit. So what you're gonna do, boys and girls? Meantime, you're waiting. You're gonna pass one end of the two, just like this, and the other end. And my daughter helped me to paint this one because she said that she's gonna keep this activity for her. And you're gonna have a simple structure like this. Very simple, right? Mean. I meantime, we're gonna be waiting for the paint to dry very well. I'm gonna clean my hands. Whoops, you see, because I have paint. And you're gonna prepare your buckets. So for this, you're gonna need cups, paper cup, any cup. What I found, I found this awesome cup, and this is from my uh, cloth detergent. And what I like about this, I don't know if you can see, but it has number one, two, three, four, five. And actually, it had two little holes here that's gonna make my life a lot easier to put my thread. However, if you do not 
to have a cap like this, don't worry. Any paper cap will work. This one is a cap that I saved for my daughter's birthday with about too many. And I'm gonna show you how you can put your trends in this one. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you the next step for this one. So I'm gonna take my thread out. You can use any thread. If you don't have thread and you have ribbon, that works as well. So I got my thread here. So I'm gonna measure a little bit and I'm gonna make sure that this goes on top and then in bottom. So just like this. And I'm going to cut. You can cut with scissors, make sure you use good scissors. And this one has little holes, so I'm gonna use these holes. Bring this up and I'm gonna make a couple of knots. One. And two. There you go. And I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna pass this through it. And again, I'm gonna make a couple of knots. One. And two. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you have it. So it's like a little bucket. Right? Like this. In case you do not have a cup like this. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take your paper cap, I'm gonna use another thread, and then gonna do the same. This one I'm gonna cut a little bit. And you're gonna use buttons or pennies. And I found two old pennies around. So I have two pennies here because I'm gonna use these to hold it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my hot glue gun. Oopsie daisy. And Carefully, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. Not too much glue. I'm gonna put my thread, and then I'm gonna put my coin, or if you don't have a coin, don't worry, a penny. What you can use is a button, and button works fantastic. And then I'm gonna do my next one. So I don't want it too long. So I'm gonna make sure that this goes perfect here. And again, a little bit of glue. And I'm putting my penny. So I'm gonna show you how I did. Can you see, boys and girls? Great. And then I have my other little bucket. Now my buckets are ready. So I'm going to do this. I'm gonna glue my Wimic right on my cardboard. That's why we need another cardboard, okay? Because you're gonna have this simple machine. You can bring it anywhere you want. And you're gonna make sure, I hope you can see this, that my whole hands can roll this, all right? So now let's go and glue it. And again, for this part, boys and girls, I would like you to ask for help. Because we are going to be using the help with that. So we're going to put a little bit in each end. Even I am very careful with the glue gun. Because it's hot and I have burned myself before. And it's very painful. And I'm going to do my next one. And this one actually needs to be in the same level as this one. It needs to be straight. A little bit tricky, that's why. Always good to ask for help. That's perfectly there. And then I'm gonna glue this in. This needs to be very firm because it's gonna bring some weight when we are gonna be reaching for our things. Sorry, my light, I think is dimming there because my face is covered. I hope you can see well. I'm gonna do a little bit more. And there you have it. So you see that, boys and girls? Cool, huh? You're gonna let this dry a little bit, so a few seconds. So meantime, you're gonna grab your thread. I'm gonna put this one here. You're gonna wrap your thread and you're gonna measure from the top of your wimp all the way down and you're gonna cut so. then you're gonna do you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue gun there on the tip not too much just a little bit and you're gonna put this there and you're gonna let it dry and you're just gonna let it be there 
Meantime, we're waiting for everything to dry. We're gonna put our bucket and we go in to look for the few things that we're gonna need for the activity. So for this activity, I have collected some Legos and some letters from my Scrabble game. Also, you're going to need spoon. So what I suggest for you to have a couple of spoons. So I have this one scoop and a spoon here. Because you're gonna see how many of these you can have. I'm gonna put that aside. And now I'm gonna bring my tray. Remember I say I'm gonna use it later. So I use an old tray that I have. I'm gonna put my women here. And I'm going to roll this. So you see how it's rolling nice and easy. And I'm gonna attach this all the way. So I'm gonna make sure, boys and girls, that it's nice and firm, okay? So I'm gonna do one, two knots, and it goes there. So I paint this like water because I'm pretending this is a well. You can do anything you want. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna get your legos around it and you're gonna scoop them up. So with your spoon, and I'm gonna fill, this one have numbers, remember? I'm gonna fill it up up to four. Then, I'm bring it up. Then you're gonna hold it, and in a measuring cup, you can measure how many cups of toys you have. That's a math part. Let's go do this again, then gently pull it down, and then with the scoop, I'm gonna scoop, scoop, and I'm gonna bring it up again. And I'm gonna fill up my measuring cup. So, so far, boys and girls, I have only one third of my cup, big, big cup, full. All right. Let's go with the literacy part. So, I'm gonna put my letters away. Kind of noisy. Gonna put my simple machine all the way down and I'm gonna grab my letters. All my letters around like a sea of letters and I'm gonna use my scoop. Scoop one end, lift it up, and I put my letters in my hand. And now, boys and girls, let's see if we can write a word. Oh, I see a word here. I'm gonna write the word zoo. I'm gonna put it right in my hand. Zoo. So I got points, so you can count your point. Hmm, ooh. Men. So there you go, boys and girls. You can write many words that you can if you have these letters. Now, the last challenge, but this one you're gonna need mom and dad to give you permission. I'm gonna ask my helper. What you're gonna do, you're gonna bring some water, you're gonna put it underneath, and then you're gonna bring this down, and you're gonna collect the water. So I'm gonna use my scoop. I'm gonna put one, two, and then I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna get my big machine cup. You can have a little one. And I'm gonna pour the water. And what you can do, boys and girls, you can see how many times will take you to fill it up this. This is four cup, but if you have a little one, which is a cup, you can see how many times that will take. So boys and girls, that is our simple machine activity. I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun. You can use it outside, you can use it inside. If you go outside, you can measure soil or little rocks, Legos, anything you want. I hope you work on your simple machine and that you will enjoy the activity today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye, God bless you.